We got to get into the story. Wow, Chrissy Teigen is coming under fire for some past posts. So in an interview with the Daily Beast, Courtney Stodden said back in 2011, Chrissy would quote privately DM me and tell me to kill myself on Twitter. Courtney, who identifies as non-binary, was 16 at the time and married to actor Doug Hutchinson, who was 50. If you remember that, Chrissy tweeted that she is mortified and sad at who she used to be, saying, quote, I was an insane attention seeking troll. I am ashamed and completely completely embarrassed at my behavior. She added that she tried to connect with Courtney privately, but also wanted to publicly apologize. Well, Courtney accepted Chrissy's apology on Instagram, but said that they never heard from Chrissy or her camp in private and claims Chrissy blocked them on Twitter. Courtney said the apology, quote, feels like a public attempt to save her partnerships with Target and other brands who are realizing her wokeness is a broken record, end quote. What do you think? It doesn't seem like she accepted her apology. Well, she, if Chrissy's saying I'm trying to reach out privately and Courtney's blocked, that well, listen, seems like I'm a whole not, lot I, of I just thought that was funny that she's like, I accept your apology, but you're only doing this because. So that's not really accepting your apology. That aside, whoa. Yeah. What are the repercussions for this? You know what I mean? We just talked about how disposable that guy was from American Idol. Chrissy Teigen telling someone to kill themselves that she doesn't know, that's like, that's not even like laughable or, I mean, I'm not saying she should be wiped off the planet by any means, but it's like, we should talk about this. I think there's a formula for cancellation and it really does have to do with how many people are going to continue to rock with you and ride this wave out. Um, but I do think that this is just an important lesson, especially for people who are very public. You have to be ready to get it how you gave it. And that's just the truth. So if when she took off and said that she wasn't going to be on social media for a while because people were cruel, that's coming back to you Projection. and we all have that day I know I've had it I'll have it again and you just have to be prepared for there's it. no way Erica you would never DM someone she did it publicly I read all the tweets I was horrified and I'm a Chrissy Teigen fan I unfollowed her last night this isn't me advocating to cancel her it's just me not wanting to be a part of uh, who I thought Chrissy Teigen was anymore because Al when I read those tweets oh my gosh a lot of them public saying that uh, I don't even want to repeat it but in so many words that you need to kill yourself you need to die and then dms constantly berating her saying go kill yourself i'm sorry chrissy was in her 20s even if she was 12 years old i've never none of us have ever told someone to go and kill themselves yeah sam there there is a line and uh you know sometimes that line is is gray and sometimes that line is pretty obvious and i mean th she's crossed the line that not only do i think that her corporate sponsors need to take a serious look at but the people that followed her and have followed her for years need to take a look at and also understand that putting all of your faith into one person this is what happens people are flawed people give you the perception of who they are but we'll, we never really know who you are except through your tweets. And now we're getting to know another side of her through her tweets, because I know that was a while ago, but there's something there that would cause you to constantly DM a 16 year old. Like, what is that? And, and if she can explain that, I think a lot of her fans would be open to it, but just trying to say, I apologize, let's move on. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna fly, buddy.